Right, so now we're going to move on to animating the big planet outside of the room, but we're going to use a couple of attributes to do that, to get it so that it actually rotates on its own axis, like the Earth actually does. But again, before we do that, let's just make sure that everything's working as it should. So if I click play, I've now got all four of my planets going around. And because they're moving at different speeds, the longer this animation plays for, the more random it'll start to look. They'll stop lining up and it'll just look um, more natural, more organic. Um, lovely. Right, let's move on to the big planet. This little chappy out here. So, the first thing we're going to do is exactly the same as we did for the previous planets. Is we're going to go to frame 1. We're going to keyframe rotate Y. So, key select that. Move to frame 20. I'm just going to type it in that box. And then I'm going to rotate Y very, very slightly because I want this to be a really subtle effect. So I'm just going to move that by two units. And then I will key that. And you'll see that if I scrub between that, it moves ever so slightly. So it's going to give a really um, subtle effect, which is nice. Okay, so we need to then go into the graph editor. So I've just minimized mine down there. I'm going to press A to frame up the curve, and it looks as you would expect. So let's select it. And then we're going to change the tangent to spline, get it in a nice straight line. And we're going to change the post infinity to linear. And that will keep going forever. So now let's have a little look at this. If I press play, hello, I'm playing it backwards. Let's try again. If I press play, beyond frame 20 that will just rotate nice and slowly and it'll look quite cool which is what we want but there is one more thing that we need to do to it to make it look more like our earth so what i'm going to do is rotate it slightly on the x-axis which is the the red one on your rotate tool and i'm going to go by about minus 15 degrees i think on x like that now, I don't need to set any keys for that because I don't want it to move on the x-axis. I just want it to sit there. And this is a good example of why I didn't set a keyframe on any of the other channels. Because if I had, this little change here now would have been impossible because I would have had to set keys to keep it at 15 uh, rather than just being able to change it. So, we should now see that if I play it, that's rotating on its own axis, which is beautiful. In the next step, we'll start looking at how you add cameras and then how you animate them to get some really nice movement in your scene.